Tracy Harvey, and I'm a master's graduate student here at the University of Texas, the Marine Science Institute. We're right next to the Gulf of Mexico, which is great. We can go outside onto the Marine Science Pier and take actual zooplankton samples with a plankton net. You go out to take a plankton tow and there's dolphins jumping around. We always have um, very large ships coming through several times a day, which is really cool to see the dolphins jump in front of them. And then we collect these different specimens of different species and then we do different experiments with different uh, crude oils and dispersants and see how they interact. So what we're looking at here is we're making videos with oil and these are daphnia, which are zooplankton from freshwater ecosystems. And we're trying to understand the interactions between the oil droplets that are formed in the environment and these different organisms. A lot of times you would expect that Daphnia or these tiny organisms would stick to oil droplets. Um, so here we're trying to see that. You can see that some of them are sticking and then they leave and the majority of them aren't sticking. So we're trying to kind of quantify that and understand exactly what's going on. We're looking at jellyfish. That can be a really important aspect to consider when we're trying to figure out where the oil, after an oil spill event occurs, where it goes in the ocean. Ever since I was young, I've always been really interested in water and ecosystems. I started doing research as an undergraduate, as a freshman at the Great Lakes Water Institute in Wisconsin. And from there, I just became really interested in studying different ecosystems in the freshwater and marine environment and moved to graduate school. Science is a great thing to get involved in and I'm seeing more and more women and young students get involved. And so I definitely think it's a growing field for females in the sciences.